Hello, everyone. Welcome to our webinar on Binary Stream with Endeavor Solutions. We're looking at the subscription billing suite. Uh, very excited to uh, have a number of people online today and special guests Justin and Neil from Binary Stream. For those that are new to Endeavor and uh, watching this recording, we've been around for 30 years now, serving, cr serving clients across Canada and the United States. Our primary service is Dynamics GP Business Central Nav, as well as CRM, and expanding into a number of the cloud products. We are gold certified for ERP, gold certified for cloud, gold certified for data analytics, and uh, bring all the pieces together under our advisory services, implementation and upgrades, and ongoing optimization and support. So with that in mind, I'd like to introduce um, I guess it's me yourself, Justin, at Binary Stream. We'll do a quick make you presenter. Thank you, Scott. Appreciate it again. And, and, and thank you, everyone, for being here today. My name is Justin McCool. I'm one of the partner account managers here at Binary Stream. Uh, with me today, I've got Neil McDonald, and he's one of our solution consultants today. He'll be handling the majority of the call uh, of the demonstration. Uh, 2,300 customers were pretty real, well represented. Been working with the group at Endeavor for well, a large majority of that 20 years that we've been in existence. And obviously, uh, enjoy that quite a bit working with their group. So we're going to be talking about subscription billing, uh, what we call the suite today. And it's really made up of three components, as you can see at the bottom of that screen. But it's probably the only solution out there that's really uh, allowing you to capture uh, those contracts and those recurring contracts and then allowing you to manage the, as I mentioned, the recurring contract itself and then the rev rec, the expense and deferral piece on the back end. Uh, it handles a number of different complex uh, subscription scenarios that we typically see. So whether that's usage-based, uh, milestone-based, tiers, there's a ton of uh, ways that we do this. As mentioned, or uh, we've been doing this subscription billing for a long time, so the product is quite vetted. Um, but what it's really designed to do is, in, you know, increase the quote to cash efficiency that you're probably dealing with or struggling with today. Uh, the majority of customers that we're working with in GP anyway are typically managing this in Excel and in, in different ways, and we're really trying to bring that into the ERP and manage those, uh, those uh, contracts accordingly. Uh, the one best or one very big highlight with our solution, it is, it is ASC 606 compliant. So many of our customers out there are dealing with those compliance standards and looking for a solution that will help with that, and we, we bring that to the table. So our solution will allow you to become compliant with those standards, and, and Neil will talk and show that to you from a high level. Uh, when I hand things over to him. So just before I get things over the, to Neil, I thought I'd just give you kind of a quick representation of the three products itself. So as you can see there, it's built on three components. And when we sell our solution right across the stack, um, we have customers out there that just really want to use our stuff for their contract billing piece. They don't have a lot of complex rev rec and deferral um, requirements, so they just really need a better way of capturing the contracts and really um, maintaining those on a year to year or whatever parameter they need. And that's what we bring to the table. Uh, from there, we also have customers that just quite frankly are the opposite, that don't really have any type of contract or recurring contract, but really just need a better way of uh, managing the deferrals, um, whether it be on the expense or, or, or uh, revenue side of things. And so those customers can buy just the A-RED piece. And so these solutions themselves, when combined, become what we call the subscription billing suite but just understand that they can be bought independently, used independently as well. Um, that last component there, that multi-element revenue allocation, is our MIRA piece. So really that's the portion that brings the compliance with your ASC 6, IFRS 15, and really the performance obligations around kind of free items in a contract or bundled items in a contract. Neil does a, a far better job of describing it, so I'll, I won't take any of his thunder, so to speak, uh, in, in, in providing you with a closer look at that. So that's... Advanced recurring contract billing, advanced term expense deferrals, altogether subscription billing suite in Dynamics GP. What I want to very quickly show you, and I realized earlier today my demo environment's been acting up on me, and I'm going to get probably an error message, but here it is in Business Central. So this is Dynamics 365 Business Central. Uh, it's got a slightly different look, but if we notice, here's the advanced revenue or advanced recurring contract billing. So we can see, again, my schedule list my end users, my milestones, my invoice creator again, all the same utilities I had before. And if I scroll across, I can see more. The advanced revenue expense deferrals, I got all the same options there. There's my deferral schedules, my recognition processing. So it's all built into um, 
in this case, Business Central. And of course, we have some reports that we can run as well. So here's my advanced recurring contract billing. I can come in here and I can run, for example, there's my MRR report. We've got all sorts of neat things available here. The other piece that we built in this as part of our standard uh, suite, here's the, some, there's the MRR report for Business Central where I can see the detail. Again, I've got my categories, the ability to slice and dice it, very small data set in here. I've got my billing schedule details. Again, these are all Power BI reports. There's my A-RED declining balance report, and there is my advanced revenue expense deferrals waterfall report, all built in uh, Power BI for business, uh, business Central. So unless there's some questions that we want to start uh, having a look at out there, um, I'm going to turn it back over to the folks at Endeavor to wrap things up. One thing I will throw out there while we're waiting for questions to come in is one of the things that Binary Stream does offer to, to, to you folks at Endeavor, to your customers, is the ability to look at our product in a little more detail. If someone out there is looking at this saying, you know, you just threw way too much stuff at me in 40 minutes, that's a lot to cover. We're more than happy to get together with, with the sales folks at your end and do a one-on-one -on -one demo with any one of your customers looking at some of their unique scenarios. We know not everybody's the same, and, and we'll, we'll tailor a demo to whoever needs to see it. Okay, great. Thanks for that, Neil. Anything else? Okay, I think we're good then. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for joining, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you on our next webinar. Bye for now. Yeah, thanks, thanks everyone. everyone.